Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is my April monthly favorites for 2018, where I share with you everything I've been loving for the entire month, from beauty, makeup, fashion, um, lifestyle, anything I just really find myself reaching for for the month. The only skincare product I have to share with you that I've been loving is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha facial treatment essence and this I've been dying to try I actually got a preview of this when I was in New York last time and they were telling me about how this was launching so I'm on the fence about essences for the most part I haven't tried the SK2 one which I know everybody raves about I've tried a lot of other K Beauty ones and I've also tried the Tatcha one the essence which is one of my um, most liked ones. I think it's good. It's definitely a very serum-y consistency. Um, I just get confused with essences. I understand the concept where it's supposed to prep your skin and allow the absorption of all of your serums and all of the other products that you're applying over to penetrate your skin more. It's also supposed to be hydrating and protect your skin. Um, I also do like the balancing complex from Sulawasu. Those two are the only ones I've really ever kind of fallen for until the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. So this one I liked a lot because my skin was having a lot of transitional issues from winter to spring to dry to rain to I'm just confused and I found that my typical go-to's wasn't enough I think my skin was just really confused so the fresh one is really great because they at fighting pollution and the pollution that our skin encounters every day especially if you live in a city I live in LA there's a lot of smog the air quality isn't that great and I found that this really helped not only prep my skin for the other products that I was going to apply over it I also found that it was very hydrating without being greasy or too wet some of the essences take a little bit of getting used to because it is like very serum-y and weird and you you're like not sure how to apply it this is very liquidy but still has some consistency to it so it does absorb rather quickly in comparison to some of the other essences I've tried and I just think it's a really easy two-in-one you don't have to use a toner with it but I do a little really does go a long way because I apply it with my fingertips none of the product is being absorbed into a cotton pad I'm not losing any of the product and I know that everything is absorbing into my skin I really have been enjoying this I think it's very innovative and I definitely have noticed uh, improvement by using this I have a new shampoo and conditioner that I've been loving and this is from Kerastase it's the nutritive line it's the orange line I'm using this is my shampoo and this is my conditioner. <laughs> I just realized I've been using this wrong. Okay, so, but it's been working really well for me. This I have been using right. So this is the shampoo and it does say shampooing. So I obviously did that right. And I've been using this as my shampoo, which I find is really great at cleansing my hair, but not stripping my hair and leaving it super dry. Cause I have an oily scalp but it's also dry. It's really weird. I have a lot of surface oil, but I'm dry and dehydrated underneath. So my hair gets really greasy, but I can't use anything that's gonna be too cleansing because it'll, it'll just strip my hair. So I love this because it cleanses my hair, it doesn't leave it feeling greasy, but it also leaves my hair feeling nourished and hydrated and soft. So I've been loving this as my shampoo, and I will do this maybe every other day. I've been using this as a conditioner, but to leave it in on your ends for two to three minutes on towel dried hair, and then you can rinse it, but I've been using it as like normal conditioner, so after I rinse this out, I just apply this on my wet hair, and I go about washing my body, my face, I'll shave, do whatever, and then I'll rinse it out. And it's been working really, really well, but I think you're supposed to use this more as like a mask. I don't know. Um, I don't towel dry my hair before applying this. It conditions my ends. It leaves it feeling incredibly soft and smooth. I don't get any frizz with this. I don't typically deal with a lot of frizz, but I find that when I use like 
scalp shampoos I can get a little frizzy at the ends because that is where more damage is my hair just feels really healthy with it and I don't find that my hair gets super greasy really quick so I can go every other day with shampooing I use this as my kind of baseline and then of course I'll go in with my scalp revival once a week or I'll go in with like a hair mask once a week but this has been my go-to kind of every day not every day, every other day, shampoo conditioning regimen. This is the new Tresemme Compressed Micro Mist Invisible Hold Natural Finish Texture Hold Level 1 Lightweight Coverage. <laughs> uh, long title. What I like about the Level 1 Hold is that once I style my hair, especially when I curl it or give it that texture, I can just spray it all through and it gives my hair a little bit more texture, a little bit more hold, plenty of movement, no stickiness, no residue whatsoever, and it just makes my hair stay put, but also messes it up a bit so it doesn't feel so clean or look super, super like stick straight clean. I also love the way this smells. I'm not typically a fan of hair care products for their scent because I find that I just don't like fragrances in general in my hair care products. But this smells so good. It smells like fruit. Especially on day one clean hair, after I curl my hair, I'll spray this all through my head and then I'll kind of mess it up so that it has that like beachy texture situation. And I find that my hair doesn't get as greasy as quickly. It definitely holds the tousled waves or tussled waves a lot better. Um, I love the way it smells because it smells so fruity and fresh. And I'll go to sleep with it in like a braid or in a bun. I'll wake up and I'll either throw my hair up or I'll just kind of like mess it up again. And it holds my style and it avoids my hair from getting greasy quicker. I really enjoyed this, and there are four levels. So you, this is level one, which is texture, and then it goes all the way to level four, which was maximum hold. I've tried all four, and all of them do not have that crispy, sticky feel that most hairspray has, which I cannot stand, which is why I normally don't wear any hairspray. Really love this, and I love the um, wearability of it. The body product I have been loving this month is the Lala Licious Sugar Coconut Hydrating Body Butter. I've actually had this for a while, and I just haven't tried it yet. I love Lala Licious Birthday Cake Body Scrub. I've already gone through an entire tub of it. This is the Sugar Coconut, which at first I was nervous about trying because I was like, ooh, that sounds really, really sweet, and I don't like that on my body, but it's actually very, very light. So it is sweet because it's sugar coconut, but it's not a sickly sweet. It's a very refined, luxurious coconut sugary scent. It's not too coconutty either, which I can like not like. So it's the perfect balance and it reminds me of, how can I describe this? It reminds me of a light buttercream. Does that make sense? So you'll smell kind of like a light buttercream from a French bakery. It's very hydrating and what I love about this buttercream is that it's not buttercream. What I love about this hydrating body butter is a lot of body butters are very dense and very thick and take a lot of time to absorb into the skin. This is a whipped texture. Very, very lightweight. It's very creamy and hydrating. It still has all of that bang for a body butter, but it's incredibly lightweight and whipped, which is perfect for me in hotter weather because my skin gets really dry, but I also don't want a really heavy body butter on me when it's hot. Now they have a ton of different scents and flavors. So I like the sugar co I just hit my mouth. I like the sugar coconut because it smells like a light French buttercream. So I have some fashion favorites. I don't always have fashion favorites every month, but I wanted to share this stuff because I feel like you guys watching my videos are very much like me, where we like practicality, comfort, ease, and um, quality. I did do the spring 10x10 wardrobe challenge, and I did do days one through six. I posted on Instagram. I'm gonna update you guys in a video exactly why I didn't post days seven through 10. So that was a great way to kickstart my spring capsule wardrobe which I am also including in that video. I'll show you every single piece in my spring capsule wardrobe. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I explained it in my spring wardrobe closet clean out video, which I will have linked in the cards right now. I have been living in my booty full length leggings. 
So I have two pairs of the full length. I have a size small and a size medium. The small fits me perfectly, but these aren't their workout leggings. I just happen to live in them. So I'll put these on in the morning and I'll work in them. I'll go run errands in them. I'll even go meet people in them. And then at night when I wanna work out, I'm like, well, why dirty another pair of leggings just because they're called workout leggings when these work fine. These are amazing. I talked about booty in my eco fashion haul um, or sustainable fashion haul and basically booty is eco cert so everything is like a closed circuit they use less water they recycle everything they try to be minimal impact on the environment and they definitely pair pay fair wages to their workers. Love, love, love their clothes. They make a lot of basics. Their sports bra is my favorite sports bra. I literally get sad after I wear it because I have to wash it and I can't wear it again until I do my laundry. These look so good on and you see them on my Insta stories. They're super stretchy. They hold everything in, but they're not constrictive. And I love that there's a little pocket if you need to stick your house key in. So it's great if you're walking the dog or if you're just going to grab a coffee. I love the full length. They are a little bit long on me. So what I just do is just tuck them in and that's fine. Like it doesn't look weird or anything. Cause I like it, even though it's full length, I like a little bit of skin showing if I'm wearing sneakers. So freaking comfortable. I literally have been living in them. I went to my birthday dinner in these. I just put on a different top. Um, I cannot recommend booty full length leggings enough. I, I love all their stuff. Like I can't recommend their stuff enough. I wear their camis, their t-shirts. I wear their leggings, obviously. Oh, their G-strings are really good too. But for the month of April, I've literally been living in these. And you can dress them up, dress them down. I have the medium one in my hands because I already wore the small ones this week and they need to be washed. Oh, another great thing about this fabric is I don't smell. So certain fabrics, especially from fast fashion, I'll smell and it's not pleasant and it's just me sweating and the sweat being trapped and it not being breathable. All the booty fabric is super breathable and my my favorite thing about it is that I just don't smell. Um, especially when I'm wearing their t-shirts or their sports bras or their tank tops, it's hot, I sweat, I wear natural deodorant so I'm gonna get wet and that wetness shouldn't smell if my clothing is breathable. But when the fabric is not the greatest quality, I, t I definitely notice like I have a weird stench and that's no good. Nobody wants to smell. The other great thing about these is I haven't been that careful with them because they say that there's no pilling and they'll last a long time. So here's the crotch you can see. I've just been throwing these in with my darks. I wash it on colds just because I feel like it's better. So I wash them in with my jeans. I've thrown them in with just any dark load and I wash it on cold and then I even dry these because I want to wear them right away and no pilling, no fading. They've held it, their shape. They've lived up so far. I've washed these maybe three or four times now and I've definitely washed the sports bra and the tank tops a lot more than that and nothing has like faded or anything on those either. So Love these. A pair of jeans I've just been obsessed with. These were sent to me. Um, they asked me if I'd want to try them and give an honest review. So this is genuinely my honest review. I was not expecting much because typically when jeans are sent to me, they don't fit right. They're too long. They're too big. They're too small. They're really stiff. They're really cheaply made. Um, so when they asked if I would try these, I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I almost said no, but then I had heard about this brand from Joe Rogan through my husband and I was like, okay, let me try these. And then I was kind of like, wait a minute, do I really want jeans that like his style and my style is very different? I'm incredibly impressed. So these jeans are Mott and Bow, and I featured them on my Instagram already and I'll sh insert a photo of me wearing them standing up and sitting down. So this is Mott and Bow. This is the boyfriend jeans. I'll link everything in, in the description box for you guys. Basically, these jeans are so incredibly comfortable, which I was impressed with. The quality is really good and more importantly I didn't have to go get these hemmed I am 5'4 I am pretty normal size I have hips I have thighs I'm typically anywhere between 10, 27 28 I like to buy 28s though because I'm a little bit heavier right now than I'd like to be I've definitely been working out but I haven't trimmed down to the size I'd like to be just yet I asked for a size 28 I definitely need a size 27 they are so 
unbelievably comfortable. They say the inseam is also a 28, but I feel like a lot of other brands say their inseams a size 28 as well, but I always have to get them hemmed. And these, I don't have to get them hemmed. I feel like Ma and Bo jeans actually fit the way sizings should. I don't know how to explain it other than this is really good quality denim and the sizing makes me really really happy because it doesn't make me feel inadequate which is a huge problem with a lot of denim that I find on the market. They either make it so that it's totally skewed one way or the other and the length is always kind of like disproportional. I'm always like who is this tall and skinny? <laughs> Models right? And a few um, people out there but I'm not and I just want jeans that fit me properly that doesn't make me feel like I'm stuffing a so my sausage it doesn't make me feel like a stuffed sausage and these don't do that is essentially why they're my favorites right now if you're interested in checking out the Mott and Bow jeans I recommend sticking true to size maybe sizing down if you're on the cusp like I am and definitely try them out because I'm I'm loving them. They're so good. Accessory favorite of mine for April is this makeup bag that I got at Pacific Time. Pacific Time is a online boutique curated by Rachel Talbot here on YouTube. I'm a huge fan of Rachel Talbot. She's probably one of the YouTubers I've consistently been watching since... I discovered YouTube. I started watching her back when she was still checking the mirror and I just love how she's evolved and grown as a woman as well as a creator and just produces beautiful content and her home is absolutely stunning. So she started an online boutique full of things she loves. It's very well curated and I love this makeup bag I bought from her. So everything I've purchased from her is really well done. Like the quality is superb, the price is very fair. Um, I love supporting boutiques and uh, small businesses and she's definitely a small business and doing everything herself. I think she has like maybe a helper. I bought a blanket which we use on our bed as decoration and I've bought two bath bombs. I bought matches from her. I also got this makeup bag and what else is that everything I've gotten so far yes I have this I already she now carries my favorite water bottle that was in last month's favorite I didn't get this from her shop this was gifted to me this bag I got from her shop and I love it it is such good quality it's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be which is a great thing because I wanted to be able to use this for spring summer travels and just use it as kind of like my everyday makeup bag I love the little pom-poms I love the yellow it's definitely not something I would normally pick out for myself but I was like I love the yellow I'm gonna pick this out for myself it's really cute and then there's like a little zipper in here the quality is really nice I love the boho vibes of it If you guys haven't checked out Rachel's shop yet definitely check it out it's called Pacific time follow them on Instagram I'm obsessed with everything they carry. I have to like hold back from buying everything at once. I think her shipping price is really fair. It's obviously not as quick to ship as something like you would purchase on Amazon, but when you buy from a small boutique like that, you have to account for shipping times, but the communication is awesome. So the second you place your order, they send you a text message or an email, and then the second it gets shipped, like the labels printed, which could be a day or two, you get notified and then you get notified again when it's been delivered. So the communication process is great. So I don't mind the extra day or two of shipping and I don't mind paying for shipping when I think it's fair and when I know it's going to a small business like that. Love, love this bag. Um, I don't know if the bag's still available, but she has a bunch of really adorable bags on the site. I really wanna get one of another blanket. She has some sweatshirts coming in. There's a beach bag I really want from there. There's some planters I really want from there and she some crystals a lot of stuff gets sold out really quickly so I recommend following her on Instagram and watching their Instagram stories Pacific time because when they have new stock in they let you know on stories first and that stuff sells out so fast so check out the shop by the way Rachel doesn't know who I am I don't think she's ever seen my videos no way affiliated we've never met we've never spoken to each other personally I think every time she responds to one of my comments on her channel I get really excited so that's about it um, I'm a fangirl a makeup tool favorite of mine for the month has been this artiste palm brush mini this was sent to me I had purchased a few other artiste brushes and tested them out in the past and they asked if I wanted to try more so I said yes 
Jess Shore, and I actually had a FaceTime conversation with someone over at Artiste because I had a lot of questions about their brushes. And I've tried a lot of dupes of these brushes, and honestly, the dupes aren't that great. Um, some of them, the handles are just too flimsy, so I don't get the right amount of friction. And some of them, like the brushes are just weirdly shaped. Um, I also don't find them to ever be as durable as the Artiste ones. What I love about the mini palm is that it is the perfect size for my face and I'm able to buff in my foundation beautifully. I get really great coverage with these brushes because none of the product is soaking up into the brush. They're so densely packed, and the way that they're packed is just really, really innovative so that it's not soaking up the product and you're not getting those brush streaks and it, you're using the least amount of tug to buff in the product but get the most amount of coverage with the least amount of product. I really have been enjoying this to apply my foundation, apply my tinted moisturizer, um, to buff in anything on my cheeks that maybe didn't get buffed in. These I purchased myself and this is the Artiste Oval 8 and the Oval 7. And I bought the Oval 8 for my foundation and I have to be completely honest, I love the concept. I just think it's this one's too big for my face. I'm like I can't get into the crevices and things like that. I also just don't really um like this as much for my foundation compared to the mini. I know it's the same concept. And then the Oval 7, I really liked for before I got the palm, I liked the Oval 7 for my foundation because it was a little bit smaller, but I still like the um, control I have with the palm versus the 8 or the 7. Another favorite of mine is going to be this, and they gave me this one. This is the Artiste Oval 6. So I use this for cream contour, for blush, and for highlight. I love, love, love this. I also use it to buff in concealer around my nose, around my mouth, um, because it just gives me a little bit more coverage. I use less product. It doesn't tug at my face. I have a tendency to be a little bit rough with my brushes when I'm applying product on my face. And that's not good because the more you tug on your face, the quicker gravity is going to pull everything down. And this kind of helps with that. For concealer, this I bought myself a few, like maybe a year ago. This is the Oval 4. And I love this for under eye concealer. I just love, 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 love this. It's so good. If you're thinking about any of the Artiste brushes, I recommend the four for under eye concealer, for spot concealing. This is just absolutely my favorite. The Palm Mini for foundation, and then the six for cream contour, blush, and highlight. I think if you wanted to start with any, start with these three. I find with these brushes is because it doesn't soak up product, it's really easy to just color switch or to clean it real quick like that, or to use their foam, pump it out onto this thing and kind of just go like that to disinfect it. So it's great if you're dry, just trying to do a quick clean. Now for a deep clean, I was always really hesitant because I'm like, how am I supposed to deep clean this? Like, I don't know, it makes me nervous. So what they said was to clean like any other brush. So I did. I got them wet. I took my uh, soap and I just like went in there with it and I lathered it up, really shampooed it, really went in there and dug at it because I hadn't shampooed it in a while. And then I rinsed it with cold water and then I just kind of let it like dry like this upside down on a towel. It could also go like this on a towel, but basically these are more durable than I thought they were. Even though they're more durable than the dupes out there, I'm still nervous about them because I'd spent a lot of money on some of these and I didn't want to damage them by shampooing them too roughly, but I also wanted to clean them. So um, after talking to Artiste, they were like, no, 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 shampoo them, don't worry, you'll be fine. You, they actually have a memory technology, so they'll they'll go back to their shape. Throw them in your makeup bag and they'll go back to their shape. I mean, obviously don't be too rough with them, but they are meant to be used. They're meant to be used by professionals and on set and really live through the day-to-day -day wear and tear. So after hearing that, I wasn't as careful and I just lived my life with these brushes and they definitely maintained their shape. They maintained their integrity and I just really love it. My one thing is I have trouble cleaning the white silicone part of the handles. So I get makeup on my hands and then I get makeup on this. And that kind of bothers me is that because I like everything to be like super clean, especially if it's white, I want it to stay white. So that's my one thing is like, I can't really clean this fully, even though I've 
cleaned it with soap and water. It's just harder to clean because it's silicone. So that's the one little disadvantage of these brushes is if you get the white handle, white silicone handle on the center, it can pick up foundation or whatever's on your hands and it can kind of be harder to clean than the actual bristles themselves. But I really, really have been enjoying using these brushes to apply my makeup because I definitely am gearing towards more cream contours and uh, bronzers and blushes and highlights, and this just works really well for that. Okay, so let's talk about entertainment. Books first. The first book I am listening to, it's the only one I'm listening to, I'm reading some other ones, but the one I'm really into right now, and it was a viewer recommendation, is The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey, and I have 8 hours and 20 minutes left. I'm really not, I'm on chapter 28 of 72, so I'm not even halfway through, but I am so enthralled in this. I've been stuck in a lot of traffic and I love, love, love the book so far. So thank you so much for recommending this book to me. I will most likely be done in like two weeks because I'm going on a trip, so I'll be listening to this a lot, hopefully. Definitely don't go through Audible books as quickly anymore because um, I'm not driving to visit my mom as much. It's the one I'm currently reading. I'm also reading um, Across the Universe on my Kindle. So I always have one that I'm reading and then I have one I'm listening to. Okay, so let's talk about some TV shows. The first one is The Colony, and that is a USA series that is season one and two are available on Netflix. We watched season one all the way through on USA and then we kind of forgot about it when it came back. So we just caught up to it on Netflix on season two and season three is about to start uh, May 2nd or 3rd on USA. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It kind of lost me a little bit, a little bit, but it, it picked back up. So it's really good. Definitely recommend that, especially if you like thrillers, but like true thrillers, like whenever um, aliens are involved, it's always like it could be really cheesy real fast, but this is very realistic and scary and just so well done and well produced. And then the second one is recommended by my friend Jenny. She has a YouTube channel here too. Um, I'll link her channel in the description box. If you love food stuff, and if you love like vlog style stuff, definitely check her out. Jenny recommended Imposters, and I was like, okay, I've never even heard of this. So we caught up on season one on Netflix, and we went through the entire season so quick. So it's about a group of con artists. It's actually about a, one con artist who conned a bunch of people, and how these people found each other and kind of are looking for her. But anyways, it's really, really, really good. The entire season, I think, is only maybe 10 episodes, and then season two just started on Bravo. So we watched the entire season in like two days on Netflix, and then we are now caught up on Bravo, because I downloaded the app and you're able to catch up on like the first few episodes. So guys, definitely check out those two shows if you love like mysteries, thrillers, just stuff that's entertaining and fun and really well done. Love those two and definitely recommend them. So that is everything I have been loving for the month of April. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out my monthly giveaway in New and Beauty for April, which is still going on. I give away a giant bag of beauty products. I also am doing pretty much consistently weekly giveaways over on my Instagram account. So make sure you follow me over on my Instagram and check out my stories every day to find out when there's a new giveaway, as well as Makeup Bag Mondays where I have been doing little hidden giveaways over there as well. So I have a ton of things to give away. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Sunday for promised videos every Tuesday, Sunday, right here on this channel. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications because I will be doing bonus uploads. And if you like vlogs and travel videos as well as lifestyle videos, make sure you go over to my second channel, More Serene, everything as well as all of the products are always linked in the description box, so click that down bar. bar click that down bar and you can find everything over there. We're going to be doing some travels and I'll be filming some beauty videos along the way for this channel, but we'll be vlogging our travels over on our second channel, More Serene. And I also do a lot of my quick, easy recipes over there for food. I do lifestyle things over there and Chris and I are going to do more couple-y things over there like yoga challenge. Couples yoga challenge will be over there soon. So make sure you definitely check that out if you like more lifestyle stuff. If you love beauty, you're in the right place. And I will see you guys back here on Tuesday for a new makeup bag Monday travel edition. Bye!